What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be walking through how to calibrate both the IMU and the Compass on the DJI Inspire 2. Now although this drone is about two years old, I did just pick this up and I figured I would cover it here on my channel. So calibrating both of these sensors is crucial to flying any drone, whether you've got a Mavic, a Phantom, or an Inspire 2, it's just something that you need to do. Now when I got this drone, I took it out for a test flight before doing any calibrations and it just wasn't flying properly, but after I went through the steps, now it flies perfectly. So Sometimes when we would need to calibrate the compass is when unboxing the drone for the first time just before our first flight, after transporting the drone whether it's in a car or a plane, and also whenever the app prompts you to do so, so let's say you have a compass error. Now as for the IMU, we also want to calibrate this right out of the box before we fly for the first time. Some other times would be when the drone isn't flying properly, so let's say you try to fly straight forwards and it's veering off to the side. A simple IMU calibration could fix that right up, and we also want to calibrate this sensor after or crash. I mean, even if it is just the smallest bump with the tree, calibrate the IMU. For those wondering what both of these instruments do, the compass is pretty straightforward. It tells the drone which way it's flying like a handheld compass would work. The IMU is a bit more complicated to explain. It stands for the inertial measurement unit. It is a single electronic unit that houses two different sensors. The first is the accelerometer triad, which ultimately deals with the acceleration of your drone. The second is the angular rate triad, which detects changes in rotational attributes such as pitch, roll, and yaw. Now, if that explanation totally went over your head, the IMU essentially compiles information and data to keep the drone balanced during flight. Now let's walk through the steps to calibrate the compass on the Inspire 2. First up, we'll open up the DJI GO application on our mobile device and look for the status indicator in the top left corner that is marked by either a green, yellow, or red bar, and then select calibrate next to the status of the compass. Now we want to take the aircraft in landing mode and rotate it 360 degrees horizontally and then follow that up by rotating it vertically. With such a big drone, it's tough to do this swiftly, so you'll need to use two hands. Also, I always like to calibrate the compass without the gimbal attached. This just adds unneeded stress to the motors. Now, while the compass calibration is very easy, very straightforward, the IMU calibration is just a little bit more tedious. And I'd recommend coming into a nice controlled area, like I'm in here with a nice level flat surface. I mean, really, you don't want to be doing this out in the field on top of your case or on top of like the hood of a car. Again, it needs to be a nice level surface to make sure that this is done precisely. First, we have to take the Inspire 2 out of travel mode by clicking the power button on the drone five times. Once it is raised up, we'll open up the DJI GO app from our phone or mobile device and tap on the three dots in the top right corner. From here, we'll select the main controller settings marked by the drone icon on the left side. Scroll all the way down to advanced settings and then scroll a little bit further down to sensors. From this screen, we can get some important information about the status of our instruments, but to begin the calibration, we'll simply tap Calibrate IMU. Now we will follow the on-screen instructions by placing the aircraft on its sides. You want to make sure that the gimbal is off like with the compass calibration just to alleviate any unnecessary stress on the gimbal motors. Also, be sure to hold the drone as you place it on its sides so that it doesn't fall over. Just throwing a little tip out there, although the screen will tell you that you need to move onto the next position for calibration, you can also follow the back LED. Yellow is going to mean that the calibration is in process and flashing green means you are good to move on. One last thing I want to go over as you watch me finish up these steps to perform the IMU calibration is the cold IMU calibration. Now for those of you who aren't aware of what this is, Pretty much, if you calibrate the IMU in a colder temperature, it's going to decrease the amount of time that it takes for the IMU to initialize when you first turn the drone on. So in a sense, it actually gets you up in the air faster. Now that the calibration has been completed, you can put the Inspire 2 back into travel mode and back into its case for the next time that you fly. So there we have it. That is everything that you need to know about calibrating the compass and the IMU on the DJI Inspire 2. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as possible. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.